Jeez. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. Thanks, man. Okay, I'll be going back to Ohio now. See you later. Well, guys, we did it. We hit a million. Give yourself a round of applause, Alan. Yeah! <laughs> this is like your third channel or fourth. How many channels do you like? Oh, this I mean, if you include like the joke channels. It's like, yes. I mean, this was my fourth channel. But this one means channel. a lot, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We hit a million. Thank you, guys. We're here to react to um, our subscribers react special presented by Charles Scammon Tory. Thank you, guys. They prepared a slideshow for us to react to all of your stuff that you submitted to us. Oh, look at that. Congratulations, guys. You deserve it very much. I also learn more English with you, too, than in my English classes. That's awesome. Wow. I love that. So we're actually working on, oh, they even got my wrist cuffs in there. The ones I love that broke. They're <laughs> Whoa, broken. Charles That's why I haven't Tori worn them. in there too. Oh yeah, dude, we're getting, um, our channel's going to be, uh, we're getting other languages done. So well, I'm happy we could teach people English, but we also are going to have more languages for all our videos too coming out. Don't have to learn English to watch us. So you, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can just waste your time completely <laughs> watching <laughs> It's us. Yeah. I like how they dressed God. you up. It looks just like something you'd wear. Here's some fan art of Alan and DJ plus Skim because I like his character design. Skim's character Skim design. <laughs> it's just what he wears. What's on your head? I think that's Skim, right? Like, oh, that you Skim have is Skim my on pet. your head. <laughs> Skim <laughs> no, is your head. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, video. Ooh, video. Wow, AVG has fan animations? I think we've made it. Nice. Oh, that was awesome. Let me watch it again. Nice Aww. job. Flip a clip. Nice. You guys are using flip a clip. Hey, nice. It's our Roblox characters. That's oh, that's clean. our guys. Yeah. The Quacksky. Yeah. Quacksky. And my weird hand guy. We need to play something on Roblox soon. I miss our characters. Fan made emote titled Anthem Lip Pipe. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Let me just do it real quick. Ooh, animation. JR animation. DJ. Weird <laughs> animated AI voice. <laughs> what? Fucking <laughs> bad. What? Oh wait, wait, wait! That was amazing. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> Either they spliced my voice together, or they used an AI voice. A I mean, AI is—you could make an AI so quick of someone's voice. We gotta animate. Next. Oh, we got another animation. Wow, there's so much. Oh, oh look at cute. us. We're, we're, we're bathed we're, in sprinkles. No way, that's confetti. We're eating sprinkles. A million we're sprinkles. We're fighting sprinkles coming from the sky attacking us. In honor of the odd ones out. You know about his sprinkles tradition, right? It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His weird I, a million sprinkle bathing challenge that he did. Ooh, Ooh, some questions. Some questions. N. Pierre Alan, you're from Ohio, right? How does it feel to be from Ohio? Is that a pointed <laughs> question? <laughs> yeah, okay, wait. F finish this, Alan. I've been wanting to talk to you about this for a while, but continue. Finished all of it. Uh, deleted user. As a member of Ohio, he most likely has spider children and a tail that is longer than Ohio itself. So, I don't know if you know this, Alan, but like in meme culture right now, Gen Z, all the all the new Gen Z words, yeah, skibbity. Yeah. Yeah, Do you yeah, know like Ohio? no cap. Oh, what? Does Ohio it... is a word in, in, in. Oh, no. In, and you know what it stands for? Like an unimaginably bad place to exist in. <laughs> it's like the worst spot ever. No! <laughs> Come on. No, pick something else, man. Like Michigan or like. No, Ohio, North dude. It's always Dakota. in the news for bad stuff. That's okay. Things. That makes it so that we won't get crowded, and just like yes. California, and our traffic yes. will always be good, <laughs> and we will know our value, and all the the small businesses and the diverse community that we've fostered, and you guys don't have to experience it. Okay, kid, cat. DJ, are you question. psychic? Don't try to deny it. I have multiple evidence. <laughs> I've been saying this for years. I think so. Alan, you've witnessed my psychic powers firsthand. All yeah. my close friends have. Mm. Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm psychic. Me and my me and my buddy did this test for years. Or my old roommate. He would think of a number between one and one thousand, and I'd try and guess it every <laughs> night. <laughs> and let's just say I didn't do great. Um, <laughs> Your odds were against you, I think. Yeah, I do. I, I don't know why I'm so good at predicting things. 
whether it's like in TV or pop culture or in the, I, I think I'm just really intuitive. Yeah, you have good intuition. And I just listen to it. I mean, and then I, I have a good ability to not think about what I'm saying, which helps get the ego out of the way to allow the intuition to work. Because like whether you know it or not, like consciously or subconsciously, your, your brain's a supercomputer and you're just stacking right. a bunch of data. So that, that's what I think happened. That and I'm psychic. Let's go. Next question. <laughs> Hero Kane, as of when you read this, what was the last video game you played? Lethal, Lethal Company. Company. <laughs> and we love it. When we drop that video, like it, share it, subscribe again to the channel. <laughs> I don't know what, just it, comment at least five comments. Break down whatever you're gonna type into the comments into single words. Like, exactly. like I love this video, go I. <laughs> post and love, then it gets all out post, of order yeah. because of how they rank the top <laughs> comments <laughs> yeah yeah and then at the very end to make sure it's in order at the very end put a syllabus saying that all the order in which the last comments uh <laughs> went in the last comment that's the <laughs> least that we ask because we love that game and we want to play it a lot cyclone what's the weirdest thing that happened to you in a game like something super rare like a, maybe a trick shot or just a glitch I think for me, the weirdest, like, lucky thing that ever happened was winning Fall Guys <laughs> on time. That was amazing. Yeah. Dude, you just won it, like, that was so dope. That was dope. Yeah. If so you guys dope. haven't seen that episode, Skin go watch the first Fall Guy episode. It. Yeah. Wishmaster, ooh. Favorite and least favorite Doors entity. Definitely the figure, the, the library guy. Oh, the figure. Yeah, he always wrecks you. Yeah. <laughs> I think my least favorite. Oh, it's um 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 the guy who you have to like turn around every time. Oh, that one's fine for me. I, it's a simple set of instructions. Hey, SS Rat, if you could have one superpower, what would you have? Okay, I don't want to think about it too hard, but perfect aim. Does that mean like you could ricochet stuff off walls too? Definitely. Okay, mine would be telekinesis. You would be able to like know what everyone's thinking about you. No, that's psychic. Telekinesis is move objects with Oh, my, okay, okay. My. Oh, well, yeah, that's arguably better than perfect aim. But, but. Yeah. I, think I don't can, mess around, dude. If a genie came out of nowhere and was like, make a wish, I got I got lock and loaded. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, what's her, what's her name? Jean Grey from X-Men level of telekinesis? Nah, hers sucked. I want better. <laughs> hers would like make her pass out every two seconds because she was too OP. I would want it to be like, I can move like stuff like cans and cars and even if it was only the stuff i could lift physically i would just do i'd, I'd use even i'd get even he buffer so i could lift more make a shield around myself i could fly move stuff with my brain you if i had perfect aim i could make a trick shot channel and it would get so popular but if i had telekinesis i could <laughs> take over the world <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what's the next question? All right. Which, uh, oh, which power would you have the least? Dude, Alan, me and James on Jim Bro's podcast talk about this so regularly because he always brings up, do you want super strength, super <laughs> speed, flight, or invisibility? And he always picks invisibility, which I think sucks, and flight, which I think is also one of the worst powers out of those four. And funny. I'll explain. Invisibility, he's like, well, I could like sneak around. And it's like, who cares? And then, like, you could rob banks and stuff, but, like, heat vision exists and, like, all this other stuff. He picks flight, and I'm like, flight's one of the worst ones, too. Have you ever gone, like, over 70 miles an hour on a boat or a jet ski or on a, oh, on yeah. a motorcycle? Oh, yeah, you get the, you can, the air in your face, yeah. It's hard to breathe. Yeah, you need a gas mask or something anytime you want to go fast. It sucks. Also, if you can fly, everyone on the ground can see you flying. And <laughs> guess what the government will do if they see you flying? <laughs> they will kidnap you and run experiments on you. So super strength, you could pretend to be a normal person, do super strong things. And super speed, depending on the level of speed you get, also you can hide it amongst your normal traits. Super speed is interesting because like... At a certain speed, your flesh would rip off your skin. Me and Alan are in agreement, it sounds like. You got to think about what actually could hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> but least superpower, there's some really bad ones. Like, all the potato skins that you own are clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anytime you touch a potato, useful. the potato skins disappear. Not invisible, just clear, like a bag. <laughs> so it still tastes like a potato skin. <laughs> Me uh -huh. and my friends came up with that one in high school because we were like, how would you make that good? You could like sneak into someone's house and like hide potato skins and then they smell and then you'd be like the only person that knows where you put them and you have like a cleaning service, I guess. I don't know how you make that good. <laughs> you thought hard about that one. It's hard to make it good, dude. Do you have one that's at least even more than your potato skins are clear once you own them? I guess uh, anything you touch turns into poop. 
Oh, that would suck. You could touch your your your, your loved ones on accident. Yeah. Or poop statue. <laughs> it's a superpower. You're basically like the Midas touch, but like even worse because it's not even money. <laughs> not even gold, yeah. They just flop over and smell. I don't want to think about that. Next question. Thanks for the next <laughs> question. <laughs> Stella, who in the AVG or GVA team would win in an arm wrestle? That even why are you even asking that? <laughs> My arms are like three times the size of well, okay, everyone well, else. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They say GVA team. That means the inverse oh! <laughs> of us. Wait. Right? Wait, what? What is GVA? The, the opposite of us, which means that maybe I would win. <laughs> I don't think you're that weak, though. Yeah. I think Skim... Well, Physically, sorry, Skim, and like I mean, he's much is younger. the weakest on the AVG team in arm strength. Thus, the inverse Skim would be the strongest. Right. So, in either scenario, I would not be winning. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it's the if it's your also your team, isn't one of your guys like a professional arm wrestler? Oh my God, Oksav, Yeah, he won. He would destroy the me. the national arm wrestling championship a few times, and I think in the international he placed within the top ten at least, maybe second or third. Yeah, there's no way I'm beating that guy. I mean, I, I've actually wanted to do arm wrestling. I pay attention to it. I like the sport. I've thought about like asking him if he's ever in America to... Him? Oxov? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I totally, I really like, I, I thought about going to arm wrestling tournaments because I want to sport, oh. I like combat sports oh, and yeah. ones that maybe don't make me dumber like boxing. Yeah, um, that is a smart sport to be into. But I talked to my uncle, and he's a physical therapist, and he said, when arm wrestling goes bad, it goes really bad. Oh, okay. Like, okay. you break and ruin your arm okay. forever. <laughs> so he's like, I'm like, ah, maybe I don't want to do it. Lam lam. DJ, why did you stop Jim Bro's podcast? Okay. There were too many bros <laughs> in the gym. The real Jim Bro's podcast was oh. the friends he made along the way. Right, um, well, Jim Bro's podcast actually is still going on. It uh, it goes oh. on three times a week for two hours. It's me and James working out to an audience that doesn't exist. Ah, right, right. And right. we we actually go, hey guys, welcome to another Jim Bro's podcast. Today we're talking about no, James. Do you, you have any objects? And then we pretend we're talking to an audience. <laughs> do you really? No, no you don't. We straight up do. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's fun and we're silly. <laughs> <laughs> we pretend we're, we're, we're actually on a Jim Bros podcast, but I there's no knew. audience, and sometimes there's like one. Well, and why don't like you if, just if, turn? Why don't you just, just record it? Just because it would we be really fun. Probably could, but we also might, might get, get canceled. canceled. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's said in the gym yeah. should probably stay in the gym. Okay, Gray Fox Eleven DJ, would you add Alan to the workout bros or whatever it's called? I would love to. <laughs> I love I the have, timing of those. It's questions. been five years of annoying harassment towards Alan. Sometimes. His willpower breaks and he gets into working out for short periods of time. Willpower breaks. <laughs> In the positive direction. Like it takes willpower to keep me from, from working out. Because it has yes. such irresistible urge, but I resist it. Yeah, you, you want to get buff so bad. <laughs> I mean, yes, I would love to add Alan to it, but it's it's completely up to Alan. And Alan has a life and a family. And, and me free and James will. don't. And free, and free will. <laughs> but... Uh, so timing wise, I feel like like most people, when you have kids, that's when most people get really out of shape. And that's simply because you have to choose between sometimes your health and your mm. life and your family. Right. And I think one is more important. Mm. Working out. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. More fan stuff. Ooh, GVA and alternate universe. That's what it is. Okay, we're learning. GVA. An alternate universe made by members of the Discord. Whoa. GVA is an alternate universe of AVA, AVM, and AVG that swaps the series' titular characters with real-world characters. This is a quick guide to the main swaps. Oh, I think Charles was talking about this. The GVA group is so proud to be a part of this community, and we're even more proud to see the channel reach 1 million. So thank congrats. We're all looking forward to coming. What's next? Sincerely, the council. <laughs> Charles, no. So Why Alan Becker, <laughs> you swap or swap or combine. Oh, I become yellow. Become Second coming swaps with skim becomes... The dormant one, or the Whoa. One. The chosen one is the odd ones out becomes the odd one. The, the, odd one. <laughs> the dark lord swaps oh, with Jaden becomes works. The, that's cool. <laughs> that works. Green swaps with Tori. Uh, that should have been me. Um, and <laughs> Mar. Red Mar. swaps with bar bald Charlie. <laughs> is he bald in that? <laughs> oh, and becomes hot pink. That's a good color. Blue swaps with me and becomes Kenji. Orange. Mm. I like that color, but why blue? <laughs> Yellow swaps with Alan and becomes oh, Abex. That's interesting. Cool. There's two different versions where we're, it's both me and Yellow, but we're swapped. Yellow's a, I think that's a good U. I think so. Purple 
swaps with skip, skip the tutorial right. becomes skip does he ah. have no legs he has like robot legs king orn swaps with rubber rose becomes lord, lord ross. ross that's like, pretty nice. good that is good that's pretty good i would i would like to be king but you know what ross does some really good boss stuff agreement under the decree of the animators versus games official discord server we as a community have decided on these names for the four in introduced in ava episode one pixel agent charcoal and pedestrian those are not the names <laughs> <laughs> i do like agent i think that's a good name Agent's a great name. I agree. Pixel's not bad. Pixel's good, uh, but charcoal's poop and um, <laughs> pedestrian's bathroom sign. Thank you. <laughs> Next slide. Oh, oh I think it is. <laughs> oh, different angle. I've seen this. Tease nuts. <laughs> Tease nuts. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's good. I think I know the footage that they used for that. Alpha Ooh, Wars. more. Top 15 strongest Alan Becker characters, 100 subs special. Ooh, congrats, Alpha Wars. Ooh. Top 15, okay. Oh, nice. 15, yellow with staff. Just yellow? He's pretty. Blue. Just yellow, I think. Oh, just, okay. Red. Okay, and then green, okay. My yeah. boy! Ooh, okay, purple's stronger. Purple. Yeah, I guess he does want like beat them. He solos the team sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah which is, is really strong. Uh, Alan, yes, you're nine. <laughs> right, <Smith> right. <laughs> um, I could delete Take. any of them if I wanted to. Yeah, Alan can kill any of these people. Uh, Fire bot's pretty strong. Oh, hero Brian. Minecraft. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, King ultimately Orange. King does beat your Brian. Oh yeah, the chosen one. Yep. I think King. I think King mm. beats both those guys. Yeah. King with power staff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I agree. I could still. I think him. King was number two. King with the full powered staff was number two. Mm. I feel like Dark Lord would still win, especially if he has all those Virobots with him. Virobot. Yeah. Seven. Oh, I love gun. this one. <laughs> yeah, let's watch it. Well, welcome to my home. This is my song. I wrote it myself. <laughs> this is another song I've made. Oh, so dumb. <laughs> I, just go, do, do, do. I just love how like cocky and dumb yeah. his face looks. Yeah, welcome to face. my home. <laughs> Great my song. Face. I wrote I love it myself. Blue and yellow's face too. The, like he just looks so so cocky and full of himself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like oh, oh it's and the so painting good. in the back is the Among Us guy. Among Us. And that's oh, why I'm King Orange. Next. <laughs> if DJ was an AVM. <laughs> Ooh, you would I have, have dreads as a stick oh, figure. Oh, and you'd go. beat King. <laughs> wow. Wow. This person, uh, the kettle. Wow. High opinion of me. You beat King Orange. Oh, yeah. and then look at all their faces reacting. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That looks so real. This ain't AVGR, and I'm a little upset I haven't made an AVGR, but here's our tangerine boy. That looks so That'd be so, so scary if it... it came out of the computer. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at it now and getting artsy about it. I just, uh, just wanted to uh, <laughs> give him some tips, but you know what, I will, I will. So so if you are gonna draw this and you do wanna make it look even more real, pay attention to the shadows directions of the other pieces of, um, ah, of, of the cable, right, right. and then look how hard those shadows are and ah, how right. soft yours are. Shadow would be on the other side, maybe more shadow on this side than on the back back would exactly be, would be backlit yep. and it would dissipate as it gets further away so the the shadow being cast from his head would be softer than the one right by his legs but you did a really good job on this and i'm only giving you a critique because you did so good Great admittedly job. i thought it was a a clay figurine until i looked hard enough Ooh, Ooh what's this i haven't very, seen this very winter very winter I'm not worried about silly things like labels. People can call me whatever they like. They can even call me Dookie. <laughs> Never call me Dookie! <laughs> I called him Dookie. <laughs> I, I, I remember in the last episode when he was sharpening his Dookie. Yeah. <laughs> Luke's sharpening his Dookie. <laughs> dookie. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's perfect. I don't know what that's from, but that fits perfectly. Enzo. Enzo. Okay, found this on YouTube. Whoa, whoa, nicely animated. Oh, wow. Very smooth. Ooh, whoa, nice I have seen this. Oh, what's he gonna do? 
<laughs> wow, this, they did a lot of work. This was, yeah. Oh, wow. Now I will end you. <laughs> Oh, that's wow. good. That is good. Great job. Great Who did this? Let me choice. see. Alpha, Alpha Animations. I want to... Alpha Anims. Nice job, Alpha. Great job. Which one is not sleeping? I see him, KK. That's funny. That fits. Oh, and green is on the, on the phone that's or hilarious. computer. <laughs> But yellow's really sleeping. Good yeah, boy. that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great community. How many, did you do that when you were a kid? Uh, no, I would sleep. I would. I, I like sleeping too much too. <laughs> but I have pretended I was asleep at some point in time. I know I have. Like I think it was like probably when my dad was trying to get me to like mow the lawn or something. Oh, there's a lot. The king with DJ voiceover. <laughs> Ooh. This is. Don't you understand, King? <laughs> You're doing the very thing that <laughs> Minecraft has done. You have become the Minecraft <laughs> that you so fought against. <laughs> you can't have your son. But you can have a new son. Who needs a new dad? Don't let Minecraft change you. I love how that was all improv. <laughs> But it fits yeah. so well. It's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know what... So, th that's the only use of my uh, my psychic intuitive powers is I can watch something and sometimes predict what's going to happen <laughs> and thus voice act in the moment right. of the character. <laughs> You're right. But yeah, no, only, I've noticed that. And that also only can happen because you do such a good job of animating and, like, pausing and letting the characters acting with their, their bodies... Uh, like if if I tried to do that on someone who was like rushing through the action, right. I couldn't do it. But like one right. of my favorite things that I did that to for one of your animations was when we had the guy drawing. The gray guy was trying to draw the eel. And oh we yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Now just uh, just animate something real quick. Go ahead, <laughs> animate. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> We're gonna mark down F. Dog Dukes. DDR and Alan Becker fan short. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, just like arcade games. This is pretty well done. Yeah. <laughs> dance, dance, revolution. <laughs> That's it, though, nice. Me? Yes, you. I want to do it. Oh, music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Synchronized. Huh? I want to do that. Oh, I feel like you'd have been good at that if you practiced it, Ellen. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Stay cool. Okay, Ooh. dude, show him what's up. Oh, bro. no, he's going to do both the same. Time. same. Ah! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 Perfect. That was, that was great. That was great. Bubby D tube. Animation versus Minecraft staff with copper block. Oh, amethyst Ooh. block. Ooh, copper. What's copper block do? Oh no, use the staff to escape. You, Those guys are it. big. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa what? Oh, lightning. Whoa. 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 Ah, jeez. Oh no. <laughs> nice. Okay. We need this for science. <laughs> the good idea is copper block for lightning. I feel like gold would be better for lightning though. Only because mm. the properties of gold conducts electricity better than any other metal. Oh, not copper. Wait, is it copper? I thought it was gold. That's why we use it in computers. Should I Google it right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Google. I, I need to know this because I okay. can't be saying wrong, super wrong information. If it is copper, then it's copper. I thought copper had like a property that had something to do with like germs for some reason. That's why you see a lot of like handles, especially in old buildings made out of copper. Copper is more conductive than gold. I was wrong. Don't listen to me. Delete that, Skim. <laughs> no, don't delete it. <laughs> DJ is wrong for once. <laughs> Get that out of there, Skim. Don't, don't let anyone know I was ever wrong. That's crazy. I don't know why I thought it was gold. 
Wait, wait, then what is- I know gold's malleable, but like, what- what is- Why they put it in superconductors and stuff? Good cutter doesn't tarnish easily. Gold is used in electronics more because it is more inert than copper, meaning it does not corrode as easily. Okay, wow, I learned something today too. I always thought it was gold, <laughs> I now know copper. This is like the moment when we learned that sound can travel faster than the speed of light. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, learning what? a lot through AVG. King Orange has anger. Oh my god, I love this. Have you seen this? <laughs> Look at the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it. Please, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna punch them. I forget what happened. <laughs> hey, wait, how'd they get those backgrounds? Did they make them? They must have extracted them. Somehow. <laughs> He still came in though. Yeah, he did. Lame, lame picture, dude. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's dumb. The music. Super keeps abusive, going. Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny at all. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no! Pop escapes. Fan animation by JR Animation. Oh God! Oh, that's oh, Jojo disgusting. music. Ew! Ew! Oh, Ew! He no. has legs now. He has legs now. Revenge! <laughs> he has a face. You Whoa! coming at me? <laughs> Jojo. I know that pose. <laughs> the showdown that was meant to happen. <laughs> oh, Dope. that was great. That was great. I liked that a lot. Ooh, more questions. Back to questions. Doodle Cat, I wanted to ask Alan this question for a long time. What did it feel to make an animation for fun and suddenly become the creator of a massive fandom? Yeah, definitely was a lot to take in at such a young age. It was it was one of those things where you just kind of go with the flow based on what makes sense. Like I was like getting all these offers for 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 companies trying to own me and having to like realize that that I shouldn't get owned by anyone. I mean, like, w w like in the beginning, it wasn't super easy to monetize. Your... Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, like, views didn't mean anything beyond ego. No, 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 which no, is they didn't. Thing. Yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, before YouTube. Before YouTube even monetized, so it's like you can make something famous, but you can't make money on it. Long story short, it was a, uh, it was a wild, uh, wild ride at a young age. But it's still going. Yeah, probably definitely not as wild as like, you know, Justin Bieber or people like that. I was still a normal person that no one recognized in public. So that was probably good. Are there any scrapped episodes slash character ideas for AVA? Ah, what didn't make the cut? Well, we were in process of making animation versus Smash Brothers um, with, um, what's his name? CG Geek, uh, because we uh, he knows 3D and we actually got the, a battlefield stage like imported into blender and looking good but it just became too big of a project like too too complicated and the story couldn't figure out a good story um that's not to say we're never gonna do it but um that's a that's a that's a tough one has dj seen this emoji <laughs> yet i have <laughs> it's a good emoji yeah i have one of those too and i like to use it sometimes i i need to use that in my own um work discord more <laughs> yeah Where's those files? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could like be really passive aggressive with it too, like be yeah, all like, nice hey guys. and then just end it with that emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is that how you use it? Sometimes. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, just looking through the folders, you said you were going to turn in something yesterday. Where is it? And then put the gun emoji. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a hi or hello person? I'm a hey person. It's not there. Definitely a hey or hey a with an A at the end. Yeah, it kind of depends who it is. Like I feel hello. like formally, hello. Yeah. Friendly. Hi. I feel like more often I might say hello. What does that say about my personality? Oh! I think you're I think you're polite. I would say you're a polite person. And oh, it also takes a while for you to warm up to people, so hello would make sense. I force the friendship by dropping a heya and make it over from overly familiar to ah, become closer right, right. quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even for people you don't know, you're like, oh hey, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, basically every time we go to a convention together, someone will walk up to me and be like, Hey DJ, how's it going? I'm like, hey man, how have you been? And they're like, oh, I've been great. I'm like, dude, that's great. And they'll be like, hey, let's come to the party tonight. And I'm like, yeah, man, see you there. Where, just send me the info on my phone. And they'll be like, yeah, okay. And I look at Alan and go, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> yeah, but then like, even though I might know them more, you're still more friendly to them than I am. <laughs> you do know some of them more. <laughs> just... 
I just like go straight through it. That's so dumb. <laughs> I just, I've done so many conventions for so long and you meet thousands and thousands of people. There's just no way, I'm bad at names. There's no way I could remember all of them. But not even faces. You don't remember faces. Too many, way too many. <laughs> and, and it's also their fault for not looking interesting there. <laughs> I said it. Oh, look at me. I look so different. And yeah, it's yeah, for, yeah. You're it's easy for, to remember. It's for you. <laughs> and they, they just walk up to me looking like, basic normie and i'm like well, how, what what characteristic do you have so if you want to be remembered either look like dj or dye your hair at a, a weird color <laughs> but just have something like flair something yeah have something one thing all i'm asking <laughs> okay yellow bebo how long have you two been friends dj and alan i know when we met 2018 july 4th yeah exactly it's so easy that we met on a holiday yeah <laughs> That's five years ago. Wow, it feels like wow. so much. I feel it, because we've done so much together, it feels like so much longer. Yeah, five years is not very long, especially no. when you're old <laughs> like us. Yeah, like time keeps going by fast. Yeah. Really, really, really fast. We met at a, at a, uh, a Fourth of July party that I was not trying to go to, and I think you were trying not to go to, too. Yeah, I was like, oh, do we have to go? And. <laughs> That's exactly how I was. <laughs> it's like, I just want to keep working on my computer. But somehow we both went and uh, we became friends. AVG wouldn't exist. Uh, I wouldn't be living in LA. I wouldn't know James. Yeah. Wouldn't be in YouTube. I wouldn't know a lot of YouTubers also. Alan, sir, Mr. Becker. Will we ever get more automaton videos on the Alan Plays channel? Please. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I mean, I was intending to regularly updated but it took so much time to do those four um also my automatons broke all of them no you guys don't know this but like for each of those videos uh, it's not like i played uh each part perfectly in that take like i would splice together the audio from like 50 takes because i would be so off key in some of the notes just because i'm not oh actually God. that good at <laughs> playing the automaton are the paper puppets during sponsor segments animated in 3D, or are they recorded on a green screen in real life? They are real. The Skim, they are real. Skim's insane, because that was his yeah. idea, and we kept telling him, you don't know, you don't have to do puppets, you don't have to do puppets, but he does it anyway, and it's like, what, like a 45 minute, 45 minutes of footage. Yeah, he, he does it the doing... whole footage. He doesn't <laughs> loop it. He yeah. actually like sits in front of a green screen and moves it when we talk. Yeah. <laughs> So he makes it harder on himself. <laughs> Skim loves pain. Also, Alan, you know how we all went to dinner to celebrate for a million? We have a, we brought the puppet of you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you pictures. Oh, that's great. I'm glad I could still make it in, in public. Yeah, you form. were there in spirit. The kettle. What's the process of making a vid? Oh, it's easy. Alan, do you want to explain it? Well, I mean, I feel like I'll butcher it because I, I'm like so out of, out of the process. Yeah. I was going to make that's a great. joke. <laughs> Or like make come up with a joke process like oh we just use AI and um, I animate us <laughs> reacting to <laughs> <laughs> this is all animation. <laughs> I mean we don't. I mean me and Alan honestly are um, kind of at least in the process of making a video kind of automated out of the process. All we do is record and upload. Charles sets us up the time to record. And then he, uh, you know, gets all the, the content and organizes it. Skim edits the video. Tori does the thumbnail. So the team, it's really a team effort to get these videos out. Me and DJ record once every week or two weeks for a couple hours. Sans Undertale himself asks, will the animated oh intro make a comeback? Ah. Alan Pogface. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So why we actually face, like, I love the animated intro. I worked super hard on that. And I, you know, of course I love it. And all the, all the variations we made of it, you know, just having it in the intro, it actually hurts the retention of the video and then makes all our videos do worse, which mm -hmm. sucks. So we kind of had to phase it out. Like, it's kind of like putting an ad in the beginning of the video, then the video just does worse. Yeah, it's too bad. We can't even like put it in the end or in the middle because it still takes away time from the retention. If you guys even want more inside baseball, why Alan and I don't go, what up, baby crew? I'm DJ. And I'm Alan. And today we're playing. We don't do that anymore because even that hurts retention. So that's why we now start playing the game. Just go, what up, AVG crew? We're playing this. And then we go right into the video. KitKat451. I know that channel members get to see videos early, but when do those videos come out for the rest of us? Weeks? Months? Um, years? Right? <laughs> years? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, we're, we're figuring it out. 
One uh, video we really were excited to show you guys is this Undertale video, but it's been really hard to schedule all of our schedules to get that last episode out. Oh, with um, the odd ones out and skip to tutorial who are insanely busy. Yeah, because they also have their own main channels and it's December and it's just hard to get everyone's schedules lined up. But we really want to fi finish it. And when we do, we will release it to everyone. everyone. Um, but we also have a one shot and that video will be coming out soon. And we're doing viewfinder. And we have a lot of other cool videos that are probably going to just stay members only videos that are like us having fun at Nintendo World and stuff like that. Right. Or Q&A yeah. it's about our vacations and stuff. Yeah. Alan, favorite day in April? Uh, first. I'm glad that one was specifically, I can't answer. I'm not answering it. It's for Alan. Yeah, DJ, don't answer this because I already know that, you know I'm the so answer. Sorry. Yeah, I thought about <laughs> answering. I have a different day in mind, but you know, <laughs> can't answer it. Next time at 2 million, send that question to me. Huh? <laughs> Next. SS Rat. Has anyone except DJ ever had a beard? Alan and James have had beards. Skim has yep. longish, fabulous hair. It's question true. about beard for DJ. Is there a moment without beard? Which do you like more, with beard or without beard? Oh, with beard or without beard. Well, okay. Well, let's let's go in order. Alan's rocked a beard in a few episodes. Yeah, yeah. I just just go back there. I'm not going to tell you which episodes because I didn't like the yeah. beard. <laughs> <laughs> go watch a bunch of episodes. Um, James has also rocked a beard. Skim, can you grow a beard? You kind of have a baby face. I, I genuinely want to know. Um, and then last question. Is there a moment without beard? Uh, yes. There was most of my life without beard. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sure. When I was younger. Yeah, yeah. But okay. like my face is like really, really effeminate without a beard. Like I look <laughs> very girlish. Um, I mean, so I I've seen you without a beard. Uh, not in person. Have you? Not in person, but oh. I've just pictured looking at your Facebook stalking you. But <clears throat> um, <laughs> but yeah, I've only known you with a beard. So seeing that, I was yeah. like, whoa. DJ without a beard that is it's not yeah it's 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 off it's not it's I not wouldn't great. say it's effeminate but like if I had known you all my life without a beard I don't think I would have you just be like that guy's face is normal face that guy's face <laughs> that guy is normal face, face. <laughs> <laughs> what are some weird talents y'all can do like things you haven't seen anyone other than yourself do uh, I can clap with one hand I don't think I could do anything that no one else can do. That you haven't seen anyone else do. I, I, uh, I haven't thought about it. I can whistle while singing. Work. You do that too. You can do that too? Yeah, dude. I, you don't want to do this, Alan, because everything that you haven't seen someone do, I'm just going to do it too, and then it's going to not be special anymore. <laughs> no, no, I'm surprised that because uh, I haven't seen anyone try to like whistle. And... Well, you still haven't. You can't see me. Wait, I want to hear you do it. Oh, okay, you can do it. Well, can you make it sound like um, your room has an echo? Ooh, do it. I want to hear. Uh, it, it, it's easier when there's like a song that I'm singing. Twinkling, coco, twinkling, coco, let the total star, 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 star. Oh, oh that's I, I, cool. One, one, dark, dark, ha, ha, you, you, ah, ah, ah. Something like that. That's cool. No, I, I, I've never tried that. I don't <laughs> want to try it on camera Boom, forever. Boom! I got one. <laughs> <laughs> to, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not. I'm not gonna try. <laughs> hey DJ, what's the most recent anime you watched, and would you recommend it? Boy, howdy, Alan! You should watch this too. I don't. It's called Beyond the Journey's End. I sent it to Skim. It's about a girl who's like an elf who and her party all together defeat the Dark Lord. And the story is just about how she's going to live for like a thousand years and everyone around her dies. Whoa. So cool, right? And the artwork, amazing and beautiful. And the storytelling, amazing. And it passes the Bechdel test. Um, <laughs> it's great. Nice. Hungry. Tell me about a childhood video game you played to death, Pokemon Silver. Oh, I played the heck out of those two. Banjo-Tooie. Dead or alive, I love those fighting games. Pokemon always, Pokemon's amazing. The Hercules Interactive CD-ROM. I've never heard of that. <laughs> is that like a game you just bought and like, this is one of the games I have, I guess. I think we just rented it like from the library or something. It's like, they did, you know how they had CD-ROMs where it's like games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played Hercules video game. It, it was pretty much any one of those like 2D platformers. Platformers, yeah. I think I played that one too. Yeah, and then like the, the the second level was like zero to hero, and you were like yeah. doing the obstacle course, and it was yes. like really hard, and I would just so die. So you did play it, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I think I rented it from the library too. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh weird. man, weird memory chunks unlocked Whoa. in my brain. 
Uh, Crafter M. TJ Youth mentioned Knuckles the Kid in various drawings and videos. Alan has tried Sonic's voice many times in games such as There Is No Game. So just out of curiosity as a Sonic fan, what experiences do you have with the Blue Rat? I mean, yeah. I had a Dreamcast and uh, thus the best Sonic game ever created. Um, wow. Those Sonic games with the, the Chobits, I don't remember much about it. And, chaos, and then like the Chaos emeralds yeah and and supersonic and all those wow. games were so dope i always wanted a dreamcast but i never never got to Dude, experience one alan you can buy one now <laughs> i can you can, buy can fulfill it my childhood dream yeah why not dude <laughs> buy it and play with your kids it's amazing <laughs> i love I the dreamcast I, I never had a playstation because i had dreamcast and then when dreamcast died i had xbox right so Skipped i avoided playstation even though i like anime so i should have had a playstation but did you have any Sonic experiences? I played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Mm. Rolling around at the speed of sin. <laughs> Go ahead, Alan, sing it. No, no. You know. Okay, that's all we get, <laughs> just a taste. Yeah. Maybe in the 2 million, Alan will sing Sonic song. <laughs> okay, I think I already asked people what their favorite character trope was, so what's your favorite character design trope? Huge fan of the mm. obscured face plus glowing eyes combo. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's good. I like it. Favorite character design trope? DJ, you probably have one. I, I don't think about this stuff very much because I just have stick figures and that's like this extent of my character design. I like thick necks on actual buff people. It's nice. But like sometimes they like just make their arms real big and I'm like, it guy still looks like you get hit in the head and die. I also like characters that hide their eyes. Oh, yeah, with yeah. Glasses or a like cat a, or something. Right, um, like the dad in um, both um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and um, yeah. what's it called? Luca? It's cool because, like, when you do, if you ever do reveal their face, it could be used as a storytelling yes. element. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is a very, very specific thing, but, like, go for it, dude. In, um, like, Spider Verse, like, the different characters had different animation styles and they kept it consistent like that one uh shoot he was like a rock band spider-man and he mm -hmm. yeah spider-punk his guitar was on fours his body was on threes yeah and like yeah, his yeah, head yeah. was on twos or something and it's like it's all one character though and he had so like cool. a paper cut out like background everywhere he went so dope one of the best uses of like mixed media animation so abg <laughs> do you guys have a diet that you use or just exercise oh. to stay in shape uh, we Go ahead, both... Alan. You, you have a very particular diet. No, not anymore. I used to be gluten. Oh, really? I used to drink celery juice, a whole like a whole head of, of celery, worth of celery juice every morning, and then I would eat mostly fruit and no gluten and no dairy. And now... And you'd avoid MSG and like a lot of... And I would avoid too. MSG and all of its derivatives like hydrolyzed corn, soy protein, yeast extract. Now I eat gluten and I eat dairy and I don't drink celery juice and I sometimes eat fruit. Um, but I still avoid MSG and that's my diet. And why do you do that though, Alan? Cause... Oh, well, before I was like really working on my, like figuring out how to get rid of my headaches. So I was doing everything. I, I was kind of getting headaches from eating gluten and dairy. Uh, so I eliminated them and I, I, I think I saw better, good results. But then like I started taking probiotics and um, uh, taking care of the fungus in my gut that was kind of causing an imbalance between the bacteria and the fungus. It helped my digestive system. Um, and then I could eat gluten and dairy again without getting headaches. And this is just anecdotal evidence, but like so many people I know who have stomach issues had some form of um, antibiotics at some point. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That that, absolutely destroys That's what them. I blamed like, it, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I did have antibiotics. And, like, I, I just had, like, three friends that, like you who were, like, skinny, who had trouble eating a lot of food, who, and this is just anecdotal evidence, but, like, all had, at some point in time, some strong antibiotics that I yep. think did something to their stomach. And it's good to hear that by making those adjustments that it worked out for you. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Well, I got surgery on my nose and they prescribed me antibiotics again. <laughs> Let's ruin it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm taking lots more pro probiotics. I'm not gonna... um, for me, my diet is just uh, high in protein. Um, I do something called Factor. This isn't a paid advertisement, but <laughs> they send me meals. Yeah. So I don't have to think about the meals. I, I like just being able to go to the fridge and be like, here's my meal. Here's my protein, here's my calories, eat two of these a day, that's all I have to do. Oh, DJ, um, did I tell you that I'm doing it too? Oh, really? <laughs> Except I went with a different one and it's called Cook yeah. Unity and it's uh, like 
tastes a lot better. We tried actually Factor and Cook Unity, and this is yeah. like all like professional chefs, and so they Ooh. all taste good, like really good. But downside is a lot of them have MSG. And Are they more expensive or bit, cheaper or what? It's like two dollar, one or two dollars more per okay. meal. Okay, I'll check that one out. We did, um, we've done a, a few of them, me and James, but. Yeah, I, it, 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 like it's so funny because like when you log on, it shows like how many hours you've saved by not <laughs> cooking. And it's like you've saved 260 hours for not cooking. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a, a question from Skim. Will AVG end in a bang, or will it fade slowly into <laughs> obscurity? <laughs> That's such a Skim question. <laughs> Skim, come on. <laughs> Oh, definitely. I'd, I'd like to fade slowly into obscurity. <laughs> <laughs> that way, he wants us to, to know. Alan wants to milk it into oblivion. <laughs> Good answer, Alan. I love you. I love all of you. I love Skim and you. You guys are both amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, next question. Great question, Skim. Oh, that was it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for getting us to one million. We got there together. Thanks to you guys. See you guys at 2 million. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. This was my first channel getting to a million, um, and I could right. have done it without the help of our team or Alan or any of our cool friends who've helped out. And, of course, you guys. We really, really appreciate it, and we're going to keep making content, and hopefully you guys will love it just as much as we like making it. That was amazing fan art. Thank you. you guys are great. Keep doing what you're doing, and thanks for watching all of our stupid videos that we keep putting out. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Bye. ABG out.